Welcome to the College of American Pathologists Direct Transmission eLearning Module. Mapping your proficiency testing menu to the CAP codes. This module is intended for laboratories planning to use Data Innovations Instrument Manager to transmit proficiency testing results directly to the CAP. The module will demonstrate how to map your proficiency testing, or PT menu, in Data Innovations Instrument Manager to the CAP's codes. Mapping is necessary because laboratories code analytes in their systems in different ways. For instance, one laboratory might use GLU for glucose, while another might use GLUC, so that the CAP system can recognize analyte codes from different laboratories, we developed a CAP code language for laboratories to use to map their codes to ours. Before you can map codes, you must first turn off the CAP PT driver, open the System menu, and select Status. In the Status Display window, select the CAP Connection and click the Stop Selected Connections button. The connection status changes from on to off. Note that while the CAP PT driver must be offline during this mapping, the individual instrument does not have to be offline. To map codes, you must open the CAP Proficiency Testing Configuration window for the driver. Open the Configuration menu and select Configuration Editor. Select the appropriate driver and click the Properties button. In the Configuration Properties dialog, click the Driver Properties button. The CAP Proficiency Testing Configuration dialog opens, showing the contact information you entered earlier when configuring the driver. To begin mapping codes, open the Connection Name menu and select a connection name for the instrument you will be mapping to. For example, MRE1. Leave the instrument ID and instrument code fields alone. If you leave the CAP number, contact name, and contact email fields empty, the system will send alerts to the default person or group named above. Such alerts include error messages that can be useful for troubleshooting. If you want these alerts to be sent to another contact in addition to the default contact, you should enter that person's or group's contact information here. If this person is affiliated with the same laboratory as the default contact, there's no need to enter a CAP number. If the person is affiliated with another CAP number, that number should be entered in the CAP number column. You can leave the Test Submission checkbox checked to test your mapping before you go live. This process is explained in another e-learning module. Note. Remember to uncheck the test submission box once you are ready to submit actual proficiency testing data to the CAP. Next, click the Edit button on the far right under the CAP Mapping column. If a pop-up dialog asks you if you want to save your changes, click OK. On the CAP Test Code Mapping screen, verify that the My Lab Only checkbox is checked. This tells the system to display a list of direct transmission eligible surveys to which your laboratory currently subscribes. Leave the Suppress checkbox unchecked to ensure that all your tests will be transmitted. You can use the Import and Export features if you have multiple identical instruments that perform the same testing. These features are explained in the User Guide. Next, click the Get CAP Codes button. The Get CAP Codes screen appears, displaying only the direct transmission eligible surveys that your laboratory has ordered. Make sure the checkbox for Query for Selected Surveys Only is checked. Now select all the surveys for which you want to map codes for this instrument from the available surveys list. We recommend you map just one survey at a time. 
In this example, we will map codes for the Cardiac Markers survey. Select Cardiac Markers. Click the Select button to move the survey to the selected surveys list. And click Update. The CAP code mapping screen is updated with the CAP codes for your selected surveys. Rows highlighted in yellow indicate possible codes that have not yet been mapped. Note that there might be a single assay with different units of measure. The CAP does not convert units of measure, so be sure to choose the appropriate IM test code that corresponds to the CAP code with the unit of measure that your laboratory uses. In the IM Test Code column, select the Instrument Test Code for each analyte from the drop-down menu. Note that the test description, as it is defined in the individual instrument driver, populates automatically. In the IM Fluid Code column, select the appropriate matrix if necessary. In this case, the instrument uses O for other, S for serum, and U for urine. If you report on only a single fluid type, then you do not have to define a fluid code. If you report on more than one fluid type, you have to define all appropriate fluid types for that analyte. Serum is the only fluid type used for a cardiac marker survey, so while we could select Serum S for all the analytes, it is not necessary, so we won't enter any fluid codes. You could add more surveys by clicking the Get CAP Codes button, but we recommend that you map one survey at a time and save your mapped codes after that survey's mapping is complete. To save your mapped codes, click the Close button. A pop-up dialog asks you if you want to save your changes. Click Yes. If you have not selected a test code associated with this survey, a dialog reminds you that one or more test codes are null. If you want to go back to select more test codes, click No. If you want to continue, click Yes. Close all the remaining windows and then turn the CAP Proficiency Testing Driver connection back on. That's it! You have successfully mapped your test codes to the CAP's codes. Note that your mappings will be saved, but will need to be updated if you add or delete instruments or change tests in your activity menu. This concludes the e-learning module, Mapping Your Proficiency Testing Menu to the CAP Codes. For additional information about using direct transmission, consult the user guide.